Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro and today we are talking about .OS version 5.2 official. Now the reason why this particular update is exciting is because they have done a lot of changes. They've completely overhauled the look of this particular ROM. They've included a lot of new features. We have our Elite Tester, Sanath, who is already testing this particular ROM. So soon after this particular video, you will have uh, initial impressions or a 24 hour review coming up and later we will definitely have a gaming review but in today's video we're going to talk about the first step wherein how do you install this particular ROM so before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people chatting with each other so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado Hello awesome people, welcome to PhoneOps, my name is Kailash, let's get going. Alright, so what do we have here? New update for .OS, .OS version 5.2 official Android 11 released today that is the 9th of October 2021. Now if you talk about the change log over here, yeah that's what i was expecting september release just have a look at this september security patches fix system ui crash this that monet wannabe 2.2 revamped customization app added game dashboard added battery manager setting system so they have done a lot of work and that is what really really matters but for this particular rom it is always recommended that you do a backup of your internal storage because in today's video we'll be wiping everything Make sure you have more than 50% battery. You need to have an unlocked bootloader and Orange Fox recovery installed, right? And this ROM is available in vanilla and GApps variants. We will be using the GApps variant in today's video. This is based on the MIUI vendor and perf kernel. So any kernel that supports MIUI vendor, like not kernel, you can go ahead and flash it and you should have better performance. It is using the latest Android 10 vendor. So I'm going to be flashing on 12.0.6. So there are just two files that we need. We need the ROM files with G apps and we need the firmware. So with all of that taken care of, if you are an MIUI, remove your MI account, remove your Google app account, remove your screen lock, face lock, fingerprint unlock, remove all of it and reboot your device once. Once all of that is done, hit reboot over here and press and hold volume up and power. There you go, we are booting into TWRP right now. All right, so now we have .OS and we have the firmware. So let's go to wipe Dalvik cache system vendor data. Remember, we are coming from Android 12 in my case. So I'm wiping everything to be safe. I always prefer a clean install so that you don't have any bugs. Now, once everything has been wiped, go back to the main screen, go to this folder over here and select the firmware plus vendor add to queue and select dot os swipe to confirm flash now it will first flash the firmware plus vendor which is around 700 megabytes and then it will flash the gapps version of dot os 5.2 so it'll take around 30 to 45 seconds so please be patient while that happens all right now as you can see the rom has been flashed along with the firmware so just go through the log to make sure there are no such issues wipe caches and now go to this format data type in yes hit the tick mark click on reboot system there you have it droid on time that is dot os the boot logo is there let's quickly skip the setup and i'll show you a quick glimpse before we actually get into the 24 hour review in the next video and i'm also excited to check the new gaming dashboard and stuff so a gaming review will be very interesting as well let's wait for the phone to boot completely all right so as you can see over here we are on dot os and it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware that is good to see and if you go to about go to android version we do have dot os version 5.2 and this is the g apps version as you can see, it is already smooth. The ROM has just booted up and the Android 12 lookalike or Monet wannabe UI is present over here. So all in all, this is a very exciting ROM and it will be interesting to review this and try gaming on. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. Until the next one, this is Kailash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.